So good morning and welcome to the uh, weekly trades that I did this week. I want you to know something here. Okay, this this week the market was terrible. Okay, the previous week the market was so easy. I mean, uh, trends were there. You could really see what what the market was doing. It was so much easier to make a trade. This week, I also really struggled to make a trade. Why? Because it was so confusing. It was so volatile. The trends were going all over the place. You could never make a decision simply because the moment you make a decision, uh, volatility will come in and sometimes it will hit your stop loss, then it will go back up. So I saw a lot of times when I saw a potential trade and I didn't take it because I just kept watching. So what? See, when it's volatile, the key is to watch. You will understand as you watch. Hey, look at this. This trade, this, this share was at 180 and it was going up and uh, I'm expecting it to go to 185. Suddenly volatility reverses 176, 175. Maybe my stop loss gets it and then it goes back to 185. Then another hour later, it's back to 175. So it is very difficult to make trend trades. You can, the best you can do with this volatile thing market is to make properly work on the reversals. Like it's gone down and it, now it's coming back up. You buy in and get out very quickly. And that's the only possible way to make. And that's very difficult when, you know, unless you're really fast, uh, it becomes even more difficult to make such a trade. And so that is the reason why this market, this the first three days was terrible. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, volatile, volatile meaning volatile. Uh, even Thursday was not that great uh, because it was expiry day. And again, the market was swinging. But Friday was the worst actually, because the only good thing about Friday was, you imagine this, okay, you start at 9,900 on Thursday. And in the morning at pre-market, I saw 9,450. That is, Almost 5%. In fact, if the market had opened at 9,450, it would have been stuck at the lower circuit breaker, 5%. That is how bad it was. Okay. But then when the market actually opened uh, after the pre market uh, at 915, it was at 9,500. Then it went up to 9,600, 9,700 very quickly. Okay. And so that was a reversal. When you get into a reversal, that's good. Okay. It's a little stabler, but you don't know when the next reverse going downward is going to happen. So again, you had to sit and watch, you had to be patient. So this time, this week, I think has taught me a lot of patience. I only did four trades on the stock, on the cash month, which is really bad. Okay. Normally the average is 15 to 20, but just did four. Uh, and that itself tells you how bad the market was. Okay. So anyway, let's go through this. Okay. On, on Monday, uh, so on Monday, HTFC was the one that I suggested to short, uh, and I went with it. But it actually went to 1006. I didn't sell off at that time. Again, volatile market. Okay. 1006 and then went back all the way to 1016, went to 1023, then went back to 2017 or 18 and closed there. Uh, and it actually started at 1050. HDFC on Monday started at 1050. So you can see the range was very bad, the swinging, and it, it, there was, it was a difficult trade. I'm glad that I made a little money out of that because I could have made more, but again, it was a terrible day. Uh, so then what happened? Uh, I went and started looking at the uh, commodities market and crude oil. Uh, and we will talk about this, you know, later down and we talk about uh, commodities also. But crude oil, I went, shorted, made money. So that, that was that was a relief, you know, because the cash market was terrible. Indian, the NSC, Nifty was terrible. But the MCX was a little more stabler. It was following the international crude oil prices. So it was okay. Uh, second day, uh, again, second day, Tata Steel, okay, bought in at 341-ish, it went to 343 and I was expecting it to go up more and then volatility came in, bang, it went down, it went to 337, came back to 339, then went to 331, so the market was all over the place again, made a loss there, uh, crude oil again, uh, I got in properly, timed my entry, kind of timed my exit, well, made money there, but again, cash market was terrible. Uh, third day, Wednesday, I was like, okay, this is not happening. In fact, I didn't want to trade at all. Uh, I was also kind of busy. Uh, and so I said, I'm not trading. And then I traded only on the, uh, crude oil. Again, see commodities I was testing throughout this week. Okay. So, um, probably I'll give you a better understanding of what the commodities market later on. So Wednesday was, uh, Wednesday was a day that was a bit of a struggle. Uh, I didn't trade on the cash market and I just got on the crude oil market made a small profit there, got up. Um, Thursday, 
Thursday, okay, now Thursday was the expiry day. Again, uh, expiry days are, are also fascinating on the cash market. Again, a lot of volatility. So I didn't trade on the cash market. I, I was also testing natural gas also for the first time. Uh, made a small loss. I wasn't very sure about that, uh, that commodity. I really need to work on that. But crude oil, again, made two profits. I went long and then I went short, made money there. Uh, and then the Nifty. So what happens on the expiry day uh, is that, for example, this Nifty option was at about 12 rupees because it's expiring. This is the uh, 11th June, which is Thursday, 11th June put option. Okay, It is not the monthly option. It is the weekly option. The 11th June uh, weekly put option. I bought it at about 12.5. Because at that time, uh, I noticed the market was at 9970 and technically it looked weak. So I, 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 you know, it looked that it would go below 9950. And so at that time, my risk buying 12.5 is about 1000 rupees. Okay, 1000 rupees is the, if, if it doesn't reach 9950, this, this option will expire for zero rupees. I will lose out the entire amount that I put in. Okay, but so that risk is 1000 rupees. I was willing to bear the 1000 rupees. And the market fell. It went to nine nine, uh, sorry nine eight eight five ish. Came back to nine nine zero two nine 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 zero four. Anyway, I sold it off when it was around nine eight nine something. Okay, and so I made uh, a profit of almost. You can see how. So I I, I literally got three times the risk uh, in that option. Uh, and so I made quite a bit of money. Again, crude oil was doing good. Uh, both long and short, it worked. Friday was when the market was the awesomest. It went all the way down and then kind of recovered. So you, you see that once you saw the trend being established, it was easier to trade. Okay, so for example, uh, again, natural gas still testing it. I made two big losses there. Crude oil uh, was going well. Uh, now, what happened? LIC housing trend. I said, uh, if, if it breaks a trend, about 271, because that was a trend line for it, it was good to buy. And so I got in about 271. It actually went to 282. I got out at 280. Um, I was holding it for the most of the most of the time okay, till the close of the day. In this in bank. Now, uh, at, at one point, I, I, I realized that the markets were going up, but it was still risky, and so I didn't get into Indus in bank with the normal trade amount that I would, uh, maybe 200, 300 shares. I was a small amount, thousand, uh, hundred shares, and uh, at 496. Uh, and from the moment I bought it, it went to 505, then it came down to 499, 498. But eventually it went to 534. I closed out at 529 and it came back down again, uh, made a bit of money there. Uh, but the thing I should talk about is the option. Now, again, I'm testing this out. I haven't, uh, I'm not a big, because I don't really like doing futures and options. I want to tell you because the risk it carries is a whole lot larger. But if you look at this, uh, I put about 12,000 rupees. Okay. Uh, Roughly, no, not sorry, not twelve thousand rupees. I put about uh, six thousand, seven thousand, six thousand rupees for buying this option. Okay, it's a long option. The market was at about nine seven five zero, nine seven four zero when I bought it, and I I bought the option believing that it'll go close. It is that is going to be going up, and it'll go closer to nine thousand nine hundred. Again, wasn't expecting it to reach nine thousand nine hundred, but if it was going up, the price will gradually increase. Uh, eventually, the market went to 9,995, but close at 9,950 ish. And so I made a profit of, uh, it, it went to 195 actually, that, that price. So I didn't close out at the best price, but again, you know, you, you earned a decent profit. So, and then uh, in the evening, I did crude oil again, made some money there. Uh, and so that kind of evened out this entire thing. So that was the, that was the uh, weekly trade that I did. It was a terrible week. I want you to know it was not a very good week. Uh, volatility was very high. Uh, cash market and the the nifty, you know, futures, options, cash market, whatever it is, it was really sideways and really up and down all over the place. A lot of people might have lost money. And so I didn't do as many trades as I would normally do just to stay safe. And I think that's important. If you understand that you've got to stay safe. And then obviously I was doing on the commodity side, I was testing it out. That's where actually a lot of my profit came simply because that was at that time the less volatile and safer market. So please understand that you gotta have you gotta diversify uh, how you do your trading. Uh, you gotta diversify into long term, short term, and uh, you know intraday, but also within intraday. You know you gotta do uh, sometimes the cash market is not going to be working that big, uh, and the commodities market might be safer. 
or the forex market might be safer. Again, uh, these involve a lot more capital. So that's again, a uh, issue for people with not a lot of capital. Uh, my issue is not capital. My issue is uh, risk. I don't want to take too much risk. Okay. So uh, overall, I did 16 trades only. Uh, again, most of these were on the commodities market. Uh, 12 were successful. Actually, the ones that were not successful, three of them were natural gas and one was Tata Steel. So the natural gas commodity, I'm still learning and testing it out properly. I still have to establish how to enter and exit properly. Uh, and so 75% uh, where normally people have 60 to 70 percent. So that's good. Uh, not a bad way. Uh, if there's anyone who's on the call who uh, hasn't you know, re yet registered, please do go and register also. But this is what happened during the week.